What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to talk about Yu-Gi-Oh! Boss Duels. Uh, I know I'm a little bit late on talking about these, I've been uh, very busy this week with all kinds of different things going on, uh, but I still wanted to go ahead and talk about this, because I found it to be uh, just a really cool thing, and I'm hoping that maybe, I don't know if it's possible, but maybe we can see like these boss duels on like Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, or Dev Pro, or, or Dueling Network, or something, because these would be a lot of fun. Anyway, what are these boss duels? Well, basically, uh, if you have played Match of the Gathering, it's kind of similar to that uh, Arc Enemy, is it Arc Enemy, I think, is the type of game mode or or, or whatever on that. Because I remember uh, playing it, of course, uh, on the Xbox. I always get the uh, the Planeswalkers, like downloadable games that they have, and uh, it's kind of similar to that, really. It's basically like you're one of these, uh, I guess, villains. You can either be, of course, Pegasus or Don Thousand. I'm glad they have Pegasus for this. That makes it really awesome, actually. And this is something. It's a special type of duel that's going to be, of course, for Japan on their Yu-Gi-Oh day. Hopefully, we'll get it too. And uh, of course, uh, up to three people could go against one person, and they're using they have like these eight cards that they use for their deck of cards and then of course like I said eight of them are uh, that go with uh, Pegasus and then eight of them go with Don Thousand of course there are other rules and stuff that go along with this you know, you can see here's all the rules. I'm not going to read off everything. I'm just going to kind of have a summary of this. If you want to read through all the rules and everything, of course, uh, it will all be in the description. Anyway, uh, like I said, the boss's deck of cards is eight cards. Of course, uh, they basically just keep recycling those cards, evidently. And, of course, they don't lose the duel if they can't draw a card. Also, of course, if you're going against multiple people, say you're going against three people, well, they get uh, 8,000 life points times the people they're going against for the boss. That way it's a little bit more fair. And, of course, uh, like any kind of win condition-like stuff only inflicts uh, 8,000 damage to the boss. Like, it doesn't just win for everyone. Another thing that I find really neat is that, uh, of course, the players that are going against the boss, they're able to, of course, kind of form strategies and uh, work together by uh, checking each other's hands and discussing and stuff on that. But the thing is that they cannot uh, use each other's monsters and stuff for costs, evidently. So that's pretty cool. I mean, I'm glad that you can't just, you know, do too much on that kind of stuff. It would be... It would be a little bit unfair, I guess, especially if everyone had, you know, all three of the people going against, if they happen to run the same deck, that would be a little bit scary, I guess. Uh, but I just found that to be kind of uh, cool. And of course, there's other uh, things on that too, but it is, uh, I, I just really like this thing. I, I think it's a pretty cool idea. I'm glad that uh, Yu-Gi-Oh is doing this. Uh, let's see, another thing, of course, there's more, like, special abilities, everything, too, and, uh, and the turn order is, of course, that the boss goes first, and I believe this is just, like, on Bonds Beyond Time, where the, I think... Paradox went first, if I'm not mistaken. I'll have to check that out again. I think it's, I think it'll be on DVD finally for us <laughs> sometime this summer. Uh, but the boss goes first, player A, player B, and then C, and then it goes back to the boss. And of course, you know, if you're going against one person, it would just, you know, be back and forth. And, you know, if it's your boss going against two people, I guess it would be boss, player A, B, and then back to the boss. Uh, of course, they have their different monster stuff. I kind of wish they would have went a little bit different on the artworks on these. I mean, Millennium Eye is awesome, don't get me wrong. Uh, but I kind of wish, you know, it would have been like different artworks for each one because they all have the same artwork. But what are you going to do? It's still pretty cool to see something with Pegasus. Pegasus is my favorite villain of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I think he's the, the best villain of all of them. And uh, let's see, of course, they each have their own effects and everything. I'm not going to read off every effect because there's 16 different cards and that would make this video really long. So, of course, I'm just kind of kind of skimming through all this. Uh, let's see, the first one is Pegasus Monster A, and the, each one also has like a little quote-like thing, where it's, I summon Toon Gemini Elf, you know, for this one. So, in a way, it's like supposed to be Toon Gemini Elf, I guess, for the monster. It's uh, pretty cool. And then they have uh, Monster B, which is uh, supposed to be, I guess, uh, Toon Mass Sorcerer, because that's what it says, I summon Toon Mass Sorcerer on that one. And I believe they have the same stats as those monsters, too, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, Pegasus Monster C, which is I summon Toon Summon Skull. And then Pegasus Monster D, which is, of course, uh, Relinquished. I was hoping they would have Relinquished on there while I was reading through these cards. And it is. They actually have Relinquished. And it has, like, the effects and stuff. And then, of course, there's some added stuff to each one. Which is really cool. I mean, I, again, I like how they're doing this. And then, uh, yeah, we have, like, a Toon World, which is uh, Pegasus Spell A. So that's basically, like, the Toon World. It's a field spell and everything, too. And Pegasus Spell B, which is uh, Doppelganger. Did we have that? Was that actually printed? That's what I was trying to remember. I think there's like a trap card that's something like that. Maybe I'm thinking cloning or something. But I don't know if Doppelganger was actually ever printed. Unless I'm forgetting something. I don't know. You guys can correct me in the comments. Um, but yeah, that's actually pretty cool. In a way, <laughs> in a weird way, it's kind of nice because I feel like we're getting sort of new tune cards even though they're not sort of <laughs> one of these days maybe we'll get some new tune monsters i hope so uh, and then there's pegasus spell c which is uh, cosmic hand which is another one i don't think that was printed if i'm not mistaken for us before so this is a cool way to actually get it to quick play and everything too 
And that uh, he only has one trap, I believe, yeah, and that is uh, Pegasus Trap A. Uh, again, I kind of wish they were a little bit more, uh, yeah, a little different on the names. You know, they just don't seem too creative on it. And this one is Tune Briefcase, and I'm pretty sure that wouldn't print either, because that does not ring any bells either at all. Uh, but yeah, you're able to target one card and your opponent controls, return that target your opponent controls to the deck. So that's actually a pretty scary one. Uh, yeah, you can see it even it just looks really cool from all this. You can see how the cards are different and everything. I, I do like how they have like the little quote like things too. I wish it was a little bit more of a quote like you said from the show. And uh, let's see, we have uh, Don Thousand's cards. And uh, let's see, this one is based, yeah, they're based off the uh, the chaos numbers that he had. He had like one through five, I believe. And this one, of course, Don Thousand Monster A. Uh, <laughs> pretty self explanatory. And it's, I guess, supposed to be number uh, C1, uh, Gate of Chaos Numeron uh, Shunya? Shunya? Shunya, I think I said it right. Yeah. And then uh, there's Monster B, which is uh, supposed to be number C1000 Numeranus, which is actually pretty cool. For people that are wanting to, I mean, we I don't think there was any way we would actually get these number cards into actual cards. So I guess this is going to be the way that you'll actually be able to duel against these cards uh, in real life. Let's see, Monster C, which is, uh, I believe, uh, number CI1000 Numeranus uh, Numerania. God, I remember now how freaking weird these card names are for Don Thousand. He had some really weird names for his cards. The different number cards he had were just weird. Uh, let's see, there is, of course, spell A, which uh, is pretty neat on that one. And then you have uh, spell B, which is supposed to be Numeron Direct. Spell C, which is a Numeron Chaos Ritual, basically. And then, of course, uh, let's see, Trap A. I believe he has two traps, too, for him, which is Numeron Rewriting XC. And then uh, Trap B, which is Numeron Rewriting Magic. For some reason, that's hard for me to say. But yeah, those are all the cards. Of course, uh, be sure to check it out. Read the effects for yourself. Maybe we'll have more in-depth discussion in the future. But uh, I just hate to go through all these different effects. Like I said, there's six different effects, and that would take uh, quite a while. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. Do you like this idea? Would you like to actually... I would like to see some kind of, like, a deck of these cards or, like, pack or whatever, like, where you'd be able to get these in Walmart and stuff, too. That way you can actually have these duels and tournaments and stuff around here and just against your friends. But I guess you could always print off the cards and do that, too. But yeah, tell me what you guys think. I'm really hoping, too, that we'll see this on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, Dev Pro, or Dually Network, or something. That'd be freaking awesome. I'd love to be able to do, especially some dual videos like this. That would be actually a lot of fun. So always, thank you for watching. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think about this, and if you want this, you know, over here in the TCG. And, of course, I will catch you guys later. All the info will be in the description, too, if you want to read through everything yourself. All right? Later, guys.